Bills Chiefs. It's the game of the week in the NFL. The stadium will be packed with many fans traveling from out of town, which also means an expected boost for businesses this weekend really across Western New York. So tonight I'm amplifying the voices of the restaurant industry, tourists, experts and fans fresh off the plane. It was a parade of red, white, and gold at the Buffalo Airport on Friday as a flight full of Chiefs fans arrived in town ahead of Sunday's showdown in Orchard Park. There's a little football game Sunday afternoon we thought might be interesting. The nonstop flight from Kansas City was added by Southwest Airlines ahead of the 2024 NFL season, specifically for Sunday's game. Many of the fans I spoke with on Friday are visiting Western New York for the very first time. Among them, Kevin and Tina Bennett. We're big Chiefs fans. Uh, Buffalo is an excellent team. Um, love watching them play. They've had classic games. I have a great time. Meet some awesome uh, Buffalo fans and just just enjoy every moment of this great rivalry. And just like their predictions for Sunday, Chiefs fans' plans for the weekend here in Western New York varied. What are you hoping to do <laughs> this weekend? Uh, stay warm. Go to uh, Niagara Falls, visit downtown Buffalo, just kind of see the sights. And downtown Buffalo is ready. Shortly before one on Friday, the anchor bar on Main Street was already hopping. We're super excited. Kayleen Dunning is the front of house manager at Anchor Bar and expects the big Bills Chiefs matchup to be hot for business. Huge boost. You know, um, we're super busy for all the Buffalo Bills home games, but we're expecting this one to probably be, you know, probably our biggest of the season. So a lot of chicken wings. A lot of chicken wings, more than we can count. It's definitely a big weekend for us. Jay Mano is the owner of Soho Buffalo and Frankie Primo's in Buffalo's Chippewa District. He says he's already hosted groups of Chiefs fans and the magnitude of Sunday's showdown extends well beyond the field. It's also a big game in the sense that it's a four o'clock game, so it doesn't really hurt our Saturday night, like nightclub business from Soho's standpoint. A big game at a busy downtown means all of the visitors need a place to stay. I think we're gonna be in a sold out situation Situation for the weekend. Patrick Kaler is the president and CEO of Visit Buffalo Niagara. Kaler tells me when it comes to hotel rooms, there are very few available, both in the city and the suburbs, and those that remain will come at a premium. Now, they're not as high as, say, in the summertime when we've got a summer concert going on, but they are at a high premium rate for this time of year. So here we go, a big-time rivalry, providing a big boost for businesses with favorable weather, setting the stage for a showcase weekend for Buffalo and Western New York. It's going to be a good weekend in, in November. Just checked in on the get in the door price for Sunday's game on Ticketmaster. It sits right under $300, and people are having fun with this Bills Chiefs showdown. In fact, the NFTA played the shout song at the airport as Chiefs fans went to claim their bags today. I was there. I had that video posted for you on social media if you'd like to see it. It's also available on our website if you'd like to check that out, where you can also see more video of Chiefs Kingdom arriving in western New York. All of our coverage ahead of this game, it's available tonight on WKBW.com.